In our last episode, we finally found Dad only to... Well... The Enclave attacked Project Purity at the Jefferson Memorial. We killed many of them, but even more were coming. And so Madison Lee led the surviving scientists and the Lone Wanderer to Taft Tunnels, using a manhole cover that they had used to retreat from Jefferson Memorial almost 20 years ago. History is repeating itself. We need to escape while we can. And at the bottom we find the survivors. I better not ever find out that you or your father had something to do with this. If I even think you sold us out, you'd better walk away right now. Yeah, well, I'm just saying. My father is dead. Oh, hell. I'm sorry. I didn't know. I just thought that since this happened after you showed up, well, you know, man, I'm sorry. Can you help us through this? I can try. I'm not much good with weapons, but if you've got a pistol I can use, I'll do what I can. We can give Daniel a small selection of weapons we may be carrying on our inventory. We can say, sorry, I don't have a pistol on me. Okay. If you find one, let me know. Or if we give him a 32 caliber pistol... I guess it's better than nothing. Thanks. If we give him a 10 mil... Sure. Beats having nothing, doesn't it? If we give him a silence 10 mil... I'm not sure the silencer will do me much good, but I'll take it. Thanks. If we give him a Chinese pistol... Hmm. Okay. Never used one of these before, but I can probably figure it out. And if we give him a 44 Magnum... Wow, you sure about that? Okay. Checking in with Garza... Now is not a good time to be talking. Then with Alex... What is going on up there? Thank God someone else made it out. What the hell is going on? Who are those guys? Did I hear gunshots? Can you help get us through this? What? You're supposed to be the tough one, right? Why don't you take care of it? Kelly, he was such a nice guy earlier. It turns out the jerk was the brave one. I have to go now. I really don't want to die down here. And finally, we can check in with Madison. Don't wander off. We're going to need you. Excuse me? You heard me. We need you right now. You're the only one here with any amount of combat experience. We've got the Enclave behind us and who knows what ahead of us. If we're going to make it through here, we need your help. You're not in charge here. I'm responsible for these people, and with James gone, I'm responsible for Project Purity. You're not getting into the Citadel without me, so I suggest you start listening to what I have to say. You have a plan? We need to keep everyone together, and we need to get through this tunnel as quickly as possible. We're not safe until we reach the other side. You should stay close, and we'll follow behind you. Where to now? This tunnel leads to the Citadel, the Brotherhood of Steel's Fortress. We should be safe there, if we can make it. What do you mean, if we can make it? We're underground. No one's been down here for a long time. Odds are, we're not alone. Understand me? We don't have time to waste. We need to get moving. What's up ahead? You seem nervous. I don't know what's ahead. That's the problem. No one has used these tunnels in years, but we can't stay put. The Enclave will find us eventually. We have to get moving. Now, we can have them wait here. Wait here. I'll scout ahead. Are you sure? I don't want to stay in one place for too long. This is useful if we want to clear the place of enemies so that none of these guys die. But if we need their help, we can say, let's get moving. Follow me. We'll be right behind you. Be careful. With that, the scientists stay close behind us. Heading west down the tunnel, we find gore on the floor and puddles of green goo. Looks like ghouls and glowing ones have been here. We arrive at a junction. Turning left, we passed some nuclear waste to find a ladder going topside, but it's broken. We can't get out here. The tunnel goes down past these barrels to the west, but at the bottom we just find more toxic barrels. No loot or anything interesting. And we hear vertebrates above ground, so the Enclave are hunting for us. We can't attract attention to ourselves, but we gotta get out of here fast or else the scientists will die to radiation poisoning. So moving north, we can turn west where we find a few skeletons on the ground. Heading down the tunnel, it turns north. We follow it until we see in the joy of achievement and the thrill of creative effort. An enclave I bought. America. This is President Eden, and it's time we had a talk. So the Enclave have beat us here. How could they know we would have taken the tunnels? Opening the door to the south, we arrive in a large chamber. It opens through a door to the west. 
where it connects to another tunnel, where we find yet another eye bomb. Quite a bit lately about something we can all relate to. We continue north down the tunnel until it turns west. Here we find a locked door, but an opening to the south. And inside, more enclave. Sharon just rushes right in. Thought I was gonna lose him for a minute there. We find a few goods in this room. In the southwestern corner, we find a Chinese commando hat with a dirty Chinese jumpsuit, a Chinese pistol, a Chinese rifle, and a copy of Chinese Army Special Operations Training Manual. I guess we had some Chinese invaders on American soil camping out here after the bombs dropped. Looks like they didn't last long though. His skeleton is lying on the floor nearby. We loot so much power armor and plasma rifles off these guys that we now have plenty to repair ours with. So much so that we can't carry it all with us. Heading south through the doorway, we find a door that's inaccessible. This must be how the Enclave got through here, but we can't go that way. So turning around, we see that Dr. Lee and the scientists have hacked the nearby wall terminal and opened the door. On a wall here is a first aid kit. This stim pack will become important shortly. So let's make sure that we loot this. Heading through the door, we see the path partially blocked with cement, rubble, and tires. And here we find our first ghoul. At the very bottom, we see that the path turns right, but there is a doorway in the wall to the west where we find another ghoul. There's a workbench here where we can whip up a quick bottle cap mine, but nothing else of interest. So heading out, we can turn north, turning off our light. Contact. What? Ah! How did this guy sneak up behind us? Oh, there's another path to the west. It goes in a big loop, I see. Luckily, it attacked me and not the scientists. Someone had made a bit of a home here. We see streamers and a curtain on the wall. There's a bathtub filled with empty Nuka-Cola bottles and the former owner's throne right next to a makeshift table. I'm thinking raiders, because here we can find some jet, but the occupant has long since been killed. His skeleton is lying by a fridge. We find a door in this pillar in the middle of the room, but here we just find our radio. And heading out, yeah, that connects around. So that leaves one path to go. We can open the door to the north, which leads to Taft Tunnel. On the other side, we open a door to a large room with sunlight beaming in from the ceiling, but here, Garza takes Dr. Lee aside. Dr. Lee, my heart. I must rest. We can't go any further. We need to stop. Stop here? Are you crazy? Garza is in need of medical attention immediately. He has a heart condition. I will not leave him behind. Why would we stop now? Garza has a heart condition. He needs medicine or he may not make it. I'm not moving until he gets the medicine he needs. We don't have time for this crap. Let's go. I said I will not leave him. Now look around for any sort of medical supplies. There must be something we can put to use. What can I do to help? I don't have sufficient medical supplies with me, or else this wouldn't be a problem. If you have any stim packs, I would ask that you hand them over. Here we have a few options. We can say, forget it, I've got nothing. We cannot continue to delay here. Something must be done. Is there no medicine to be found? In which case we have to scrounge around for stim packs, and if we find any, we can turn them in to Dr. Lee. There is, of course, the stim pack we got in the first aid kit earlier, but we will find a few more later on. This room, however, doesn't reveal any. We find a pile of skeletons on the floor next to a radio and some medics. There's some psycho behind the radio and some boxed foods, but no stim packs here. If we try talking to Garza... I am sorry. I cannot continue. I need to rest for a while. Hey, is there anything I can do to help? I do not have my usual supplies of medicine. I was too hasty in leaving. Sorry. I guess there isn't anything I can do to help right now. Perhaps if I just rest a while. <sighs> Perhaps not. Or we can pass a speech check to say, you're only going to slow us down. Maybe you should stay behind. Yes, you are right. There is no reason to put everyone at risk on my account. Go on without me. Garza, I'm sorry. I don't know what to do. In which case he stays here and the party moves on without him. 
Or talking with Dr. Lee, we can pass a speech check with her to say, maybe we should just leave him behind. He's slowing us down. Maybe you're right. Very well, I'll tell him, and then we'll continue. Let's make this quick. In which case, she walks to Garza. Garza, I'm sorry, but we must keep moving. If you can't keep up, I'm afraid we'll have to go on without you. But what will I do? You would leave me here alone? Garza, I'm sorry. We have to go now. And again, Garza stays behind. Or we can pass another speech check to say, I don't have any meds on me, but what if we gave him some buff out? But we can only pass this option if we have three buff out on our inventory. I... Normally, I would never approve of this. If the situation weren't so serious... If you think this is the best course of action, we'll do it. I hope this isn't a mistake. Garza, we have no medicine. But there's something else that may help for now. If it will help me, then I will take it. I trust you, Dr. Lee. I... Yes, well, if you weren't in danger right now, I'd suggest something different, but this should see you through for the time being. Thank you, Dr. Lee. Or we can simply kill Garza. Hello? What the hell? Hey. Where? You're murder us. If we do and talk to Madison Lee... You monster. How could you do that to him? No reason to hang around now, is there? Move it. You're inhuman. I won't forget this. I'm sorry, but it's for the good of everyone. Now let's go. I can't believe James raised a daughter like you. You disgust me. And if we do, we gain negative karma. Or we can give him the Stimpaks. If we try to give them to Garza... Ah, so you do. Give them to Dr. Lee, if you please. He directs us to Dr. Lee. They have the same dialogue, whether we give her the stim packs immediately or wait a while to find some in the tunnels. Here, take some stim packs. That should get him through. Yes, this looks to be enough. He'll need medical attention once we've reached the Citadel, but this will get him there. Thank you. Give me a moment and we can continue. Raza, here. This will help you to feel better. Once we reach the Citadel, you'll be fine. Thank you, Dr. Lee. I'm feeling better already. Let us continue, and not waste more time here. All right, if you're up to it, we'll continue. And with that, we gain positive karma. Can you help get us through this, Garza? I am feeling better, but not well enough to be of use to you. I apologize. I have to go now. We must keep moving. If we refuse to give him stem packs, or take too long finding some, he can die in these tunnels. He can even die later, after leaving the tunnels, if he doesn't get the stem packs. With Garza saved, we can continue by opening the door to the north. Going down a hallway, we find a door to the west, and on the other side, a large vaulted room, okay. Heading up the steps, we can walk towards a pod. We get attacked from behind. Where? That thing scared of that. How did the Enclave get on that ledge back there? Well, with the Enclave dead, we can continue to this big floating pod. Here we find an iBot helmet lying on a table. This is a very rare helmet, one of only three lying static in the world. It has a DR of five. It's not quite as good as Crow's iBot helmet that we got when I did my video on Canterbury Commons that you can watch here. That one also has a DR of five, but grants us plus one to perception. However, this one is much lighter than Crow's iBot helmet, weighing three pounds compared to Crow's 10 pounds. From this pod, we can go through a door to the west and up some stairs to fight some ghouls. top we find the body of an enclave soldier. Looks like the ghouls killed him. There's a split in this path. If we go west, we find a bit of an operating room, a makeshift raider operating room. We find Jet on the ground next to a skeleton, more Jet on a nearby table, some Radaway on a mobile cart, some Mentats in a toilet, mm, good old toilet Mentats, and a first aid kit on the wall where we can get two stim packs, which is useful for curing Garza. Heading out and moving north, we find another ghoul. I'm out of here. And following the path up, we climb some stairs to exit out a door to another tunnel system. Where? Ah, more doggone ghouls. 
South is a dead end. We find a generator here with some whiskey bottles and a Nuka Cola Quantum hiding next to a copy of Nikola Tesla and You. But to continue, we head north. At the top of this tunnel, we find a door to the west filled with barrels and a split, a door leading west and a door to the northeast. There are a pile of skeletons before the door leading west. So first we'll explore this locked door to the northeast. It's locked with a hard lock, but if we pick it, we go down some stairs through a door to the south to find a room filled with more feral ghouls. Oh, inflammable gas. Oh, yeah. Sorry, dog meat cash. At the very bottom, we can go through a southern door to find a pathway to the east that ends at a floor safe. There are a bunch of party streamers on the ceiling above us. Guess someone tried to turn this into a home. The safe is locked with an average lock, and if we pick it, we get some jet and a bobby pin. Totally worth our time. This leaves one path to follow. Retracing our steps, we can head up the stairs here I found an ammo canister on a girder that I missed on the way down. We can hop across to loot it. And when done, we can head through the door and up the stairs back to the main tunnel where we found those skeletons before the large double door. To open the door, we hit a switch on the wall. And here we find... Brotherhood of Steel? Oh, that's right. Madison said that this way we would reach the Citadel. But just as we step forward to talk with this guy... A horde of feral ghouls attack us from behind! And oh no, they got Daniel Agincourt! He was a bit of a jerk, but he was the only guy willing to help out in a fight. We may have to reload a few saves to get through this fight with all of the scientists still alive. The strategy I used was to head forward to trigger the spawn, then race back and try to kill the ghouls as fast as possible. But for some reason, they all loved attacking Daniel Agincourt. I think I did it. Did I get them all? Daniel, are you okay? Hey, here's an idea. Why don't you go worry about whatever it is you're supposed to be doing and leave me alone? <sighs> okay, he's fine. His personality is intact. But wait a minute, wasn't there another one? Hey, where's Alex? Oh no, they got Alex! Reloading a save, we can try again. After all, third time's the charm, right? And there we go. All the scientists accounted for. Hey there, little lady. What's going on? Okay, Alex is fine. The Brotherhood have a shelf back here, but sadly everything is set to own, so we can't loot any of this without stealing. But we're almost there. Turning north, we can go up the tunnel, follow it as it turns west. At the top, loot some jet and medics, pity the poor souls lying dead at the bottom, and then take the ladder up to the capital wasteland. We arrive at a manhole, right outside the citadel. It's dusk, and Dr. Lee walks up the hill towards the citadel gate. I am Dr. Madison Lee. I have people with me in need of shelter. You must allow us access at once. I'm sorry, ma'am. No unauthorized civilians allowed inside the citadel. You'll have to leave now. Lions! I know you're in there. I know you can hear me. You open this goddamn door right now! Wow, Madison, I'm impressed. She pretty much just ordered Elder Lions. Say what you want about Madison Lee's personality, but she's really handling this whole situation very well considering. With that, we complete the quest The Waters of Life and begin the quest Picking Up the Trail. Madison and the scientists race inside the Citadel, where we are greeted by Elder Lions himself. Madison, I'm surprised to see you here. What can I do for you? Don't talk down to me, Lions. I had nowhere else to turn. You must help us. Project Purity has been overrun. Yes, I'd heard reports of an incident there. What details can you give us? 
The Enclave. They've attacked Project Purity. James is dead. There may be more, I don't know. You have to do something. Then it's as we feared. Madison, I'm sorry this happened. I wish we could have done something. Then do something now. They've taken over the purifier. Lions, they cannot be permitted to have control over it. It's not right. No, no, no. Calm down. You know as well as I do that the purifier doesn't work. It's useless to them. Perhaps it's time to walk away. That's not true. James, he found what's been missing. We know how to get it running. Is that so? Does the Enclave know this? No, I don't think... I don't know. I, d I just don't know what's happening anymore. Then you've reached a All right, Madison. It'll be okay. Now, this is James's daughter, I presume? I can see the resemblance. Yes. She knows what we need. Vault Tech computer, something to locate equipment. Please help her. So it was taught to Very well. We'll sort this all out. Enough job, maggot. Back to hail. I... I need to rest, lie down or something. This is just too much. Rothschild should help you, but don't forget that he's Brotherhood. I've never trusted them. Be careful what you tell them. I need to speak with you, Father. Yes, my daughter. What is it? I've been talking with the other members of the Pride. We want to assault the Purifier, Father, now! The Enclave must pay for what they've done! You may be a Sentinel, but you're also my daughter. And I won't throw your life away fighting an enemy we know too little about. I'm sorry, but no. Yes, Fa- Yes, Elder. I understand. Poor Madison Lee. Despite how brusque she can be, I can't help but feel sorry for her to have lost James like that. But what am I talking about? James was our father, and we just watched him die. He sacrificed himself to protect Project Purity, killing all of the Enclave there in the process. Clean water for the people of the Capital Wasteland really meant so much to him. And now, where are we? We're in this citadel in the middle of the night, surrounded by all of these Brotherhood of Steel guys whom we barely know. We've had scant chance encounters with them up until now. Are they really the good guys? Can we trust them? But it's late. We're exhausted and we've got to come to terms with our father's death. We'll crash here, get some shut-eye, and explore the Citadel in our next episode. I publish many Fallout videos each week here on my channel, so if you don't want to miss the next episode, be sure to subscribe and to click that bell notification button. If you have and you still feel like you're missing YouTube notifications, consider following me on Twitter at Oxhorn. I update Twitter manually with every new piece of content that I publish. I have a shirt shop with completely unique designs that you can't find anywhere else. My designs come on shirts in a variety of men's, women's, and children's sizes, and in a wide array of colors. They come on other products as well, like smartphone cases, pillows, posters, stickers, mugs, prints, etc. So if interested, you can find a link to my shop in the description below, or you can click here. If you like what I do, and you want to support me in a more personal way, consider becoming a patron on Patreon or a member here on YouTube. But more than anything, I'm just so glad you're here watching this video with me today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon with the next episode in the full story of Fallout 3.